Just show me Moroccans becoming Christians. Fair That's enough. That's what I'm asking. That is an absolutely okay. fair question. Thank you. And the evidence that I would give to you yeah. is simply YouTube the testimonies nah. of no, the nah, Moroccan nah, nah, nah. YouTube. Oh, do you YouTube. see? Do you see? According to YouTube, these three guys appealed to YouTube to show that Islam was growing in the park. But when I appeal to YouTube to show that Christianity is growing in Morocco, they say they don't want you to. If you look at America, and let's use America as an example, statistically, for every 24 people that convert to Islam, 24 people leave Islam. So the growth in America is not being caused by conversion. The growth in America is being caused by birth rate and immigration. I just, I just want to make a very simple point, yeah? Yeah, go on. He said that the, the law will be fulfilled, yeah? Once all the prophecies have come to pass, yeah? That's what no, you're saying. Did, did, Jesus, I just, did Jesus, let me no, just make go, a quick go, point, go. yeah? So what you're saying is, I asked you, have they all come to pass in the Old Testament? He said, no, because the second coming doesn't come yet. This is still in the future. Therefore, that law cannot apply. That means he still hasn't come to no, abolish no, the law. So, when Christ said, not a jot or tittle of the Mosaic law will be done away with until all is fulfilled, he is talking about the coming of the Messiah and everything that that means. Okay. He has come. Tell me, as a Muslim, let's just settle this argument right now. As a Muslim, do you believe Christ is the Messiah? Yes, I do. Yeah. Thank You coming up to Muslims? Oh, let's debate week. about let's debate about Tawheed. Let's debate about the uh, you know Islam. Yeah, I never hear you going up to Christians. Right? Let's debate about the uh, what's it called the, um, other Christians. That's for example, you have um, some of the Adventists who you are different to you. I I've never seen you debate them. I I've never seen you debate uh, Jews. I've never seen you debate atheists. Never in my life. Okay, so well, shall I tell you? Shall I tell you? So allow me to respond. So allow me to respond. So allow me to respond. The problem is the problem is your filter. The problem is you only see what you want to see because if you objectively look through so-called films rather than simply seeing what you want to see you will see that I will debate atheists I will debate agnostics I will debate heretics I will debate people who don't one share the million, Christian though. faith. It's one in a million. Well, I'm sorry, but I... Because 99% of your videos are based on Islam and Muslims. Well, I'm sorry, but when 99% of the people that I end up talking to are Muslims... Well, I'm sorry, but if 99% of the time Muslims like you come up to me and make Islam the topic, then I am invited to talk about it. I asked you a question. Why do you have any focus on Islam? So, but then you... But here's the thing. Next week, you'll use this video as an argument saying that I'm always talking about no, Islam. I won't, of course I'm, you will. I'm to you right of now. course you will. Of course it's you will. I, 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 I he was to plenty of people who are not Muslim. But I'm saying 99% is based on Islam and Muslims. And? And the problem is, why does, the question is right, why does Islam threaten you so much? Well, it doesn't threaten He's me. It's coming it closer to the truth from It doesn't threaten yeah, yeah, yeah. me. It doesn't threaten me. Part, <laughs> Islam doesn't yeah. threaten me. It does threaten you. No, no. This is again your characterization. It's not. It threatens What we should maybe talk about. Every single week, people are becoming Muslim. And every single week, Muslims are becoming every Christians. Week, people huh? are Muslims. The fastest growing religion in Saudi Arabia is Christianity. Hamza every week, right? The fastest right? He's growing bringing religion in Hamza Iran is Saudi Arabia. Every single week, right? Hamza Mayat, right? The fastest growing religion, right? fastest growing right? religion right? in the Islamic He's Republic of Sudan is Christianity. And this threatens you. The fastest growing religion in Morocco is Christianity. Really? The fastest growing religion in Indonesia is Christianity. In the UK. In the UK. In the UK. So, Bob, in Morocco. In the UK. Okay. Right. 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 In the past, every single week, the right? First is growing the first religion of English in Arabia right? is that anything. You know what what right? What's your point by this? The point is, right? Islam threatens you clearly. No, no. Every your characterization right, does Muslims. not define me. You're I find it funny. What, what I find, uh, what I find funny. What, what I find funny. 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 I'll give you an example. Stats, no stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stats, no stats. No, no, no. We're not leaving. No stats. That's very funny. Stats. So let's 
yeah, yeah, okay, so let's look at the stats. What, what's the majority more. religion? Now don't ask me questions. Stats, references, stats. Books. Okay, stats. so the fast, so, so the, fast the, the majority religion but in Morocco. No, stats, in Morocco. Yeah, yeah, let me, let me address the point. Because it doesn't take a, comp a simple mind. Even okay, a simple mind, as demonstrated by the Islamic Dawah team, can <laughs> grasp what I'm about to say. Yeah. If no, your religion is 100%, you cannot grow. Because you're well, already clearly total. Islam is growing, though. Clearly no, Islam is growing. Every I single, used examples of countries right. where religion, the, the main religion, is Islam, and the second religion there too is Christianity. Right. Now, you on those countries, so it, is it is growing. Okay. It is oh, no, growing. Again, the missionary organisations that work there. Where are the stats? The missionary organisations that work there. I'll give you one evidence. I'll give you an evidence for Indonesia. We have people. Indonesia. Have you heard? Of the Sorry, Save Mariam project. Have Muslim. you heard of the Save Mariam project? We want to see forget, no, 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 forget. I'm going to give it no, to you. No, you're not going to give me Indonesia. I'm we're going to go back to Morocco. To I want to go I'm back to Morocco. To, uh, we'll come back to Morocco. No, we're not going we'll to go back to Morocco. We're already in Morocco. So, Where's the stats? No, this is the UK, the brother. Learn your geography. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so <laughs> the point that I'm making to you, right? The, this the brother. Stats? No, I'm going. I'm going. We're going. We're going to come to this. We're going to come to this, right? He wanted stats. He wanted sources. I'll give you a source for Indonesia. In Indonesia, the Mariam project, the Save Mariam project, is an Islamic project that is trying to address the fact. The church growth in Indonesia is so fast that if it continues at its current rate, by 2060, Indonesia will be a majority Christian country. Okay. Indonesia, that's from an Islamic charity. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Google it's it giving, now. now. Hold Google hold it up. now. Listen. Save Aisha Listen. Project Indonesia. Oh, hold up, hold up. You're talking, you're talking. So, yeah, Morocco. You're talking about if. Morocco. If you had wheels, Morocco. you know what I'm Morocco. Claim. You're asking us to research with evidence. Right. You made a claim. Morocco. So give us the Morocco. Give me this. Give me the source. He's asking us to research with evidence. I'm giving you one source. You made a claim. I'm giving you one source. You made a claim. Yeah. It's giving you. I am making a claim. No, no, no. I am making a claim. Where's the evidence? I am making a claim. Give me the evidence. 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 Give me the evid
Coming to Morocco. Coming to Morocco. Let me talk. Let him talk. Morocco. 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 Coming to Morocco. Yes. The information that I'm basing that on are the testimonies. Both, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Guys, who's Moroccan over here? Who's Moroccan? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. He'll, give, yeah. he'll give you the oh, 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 That means he's an expert on Morocco finish. because no, he's Moroccan. No, he's no, no. That's like he saying every French Frenchman is an expert on France. No. <laughs> That's a joke, man. Fallible logic. Fallible logic. Let him finish. So, it's based upon the testimonies of the missionaries working inside Morocco. Here we go. Now, here we go. Someone's uncle and then What was the dominant? What was the dominant religion? Give what is the that. dominant religion in Islam? You're not talking like Thanos from Avengers don't make you right. What is clarity and What, what, what is the dominant on. religion no, in Islam? Facts. Give me facts. Don't ask in me Morocco. questions. Islam. I'll ask you for facts. I'll ask you for facts. Islam. Islam. Right. Why are you answering so, that? Don't worry. So what room does Islam have to grow in Morocco? Vis-a-vis -vis the church. Is this... Look, I'm asking facts. you, just show me the, the, the evidence. Don't ask us questions. Are, Where's Christian the facts? Morocco. Pull up the facts. Christian becoming Moroccan. Christian. Okay, listen, pull that's up easily facts. done. Moroccans it's a fair becoming, question. Listen, can it is a fair question. Go on. Just show me Moroccans becoming Christians. Fair that's enough. That's what I'm asking. That is an absolutely okay. fair question. Thank you. And the evidence that I would give to you yeah. is simply YouTube the testimonies nah. of nah. the Moroccan nah. Nah. Oh, do you see? Do you see? According to YouTube, these three guys appealed to YouTube to show that Islam was growing in the park. But when I appeal to YouTube to show that Christianity is growing in Morocco, they say they don't want you to. This is the double standards of the Islamic Dawati. This is the double standards of the Islamic Dawati. We want to give you a message. Just give us the reference. Don't give me YouTube. People who are watching can go and read. According to YouTube, can see according to YouTube, testimonies. Just give the reference. You can do it. Quick according to according to YouTube, I'll stick it on the comment section. I'll stick it on the comment section. According to YouTube, Tupac and Biggie are in Cuba. Don't give me YouTube. Give me, give me academic. He said, don't give him YouTube. Give me academic. But these three were all saying, YouTube proved that Islam was growing in the park. Give me academic because they were quoting a YouTube video to show Islam's growth. Academic Academic so academic notice, notice, academic notice. we're not showing it. Notice, stats. listen, we're not How showing it. How the Muslims stats. change their criteria of there evidence we are not showing whenever the evidence Go to contradicts them. And you can see for yourself. So when evidence how many contradicts English them, became Muslim. Do you see? You. There you go. Listen, there you go. Asking for the same academic stats. He can't what? provide academic that. stats. You're not going to run away. You can find academic the testimony of Muslims who become Christians there we go. Giving a speech on again. YouTube. My brother. There are plenty of them. And they are not hard to Show find. The, the reference, give us the reference. We need a hard reference. I just gave you EF Dawa, everybody, EF Dawa. I will go to EF Dawa and see for yourself. In the comment the section. I'll put some references in the, the comment same. section the same, under the video. Do the same. And what references are you using to show Islamic growing? EF in this Dawa channel, EF Dawa channel. Yeah. And you can see for yourself how many people took Shahada. There you go. So you're weeks. using YouTube as evidence, right. but then rejecting YouTube as evidence. Want when it's you used to use show that evidence. Muslims become Christians. Yeah, but I want you to use YouTube as For those of you that didn't hear thing. the brother, provide the same he thing. He pointed to his own channel as evidence of Islam's growth. You all know I'm which not Which is EF a YouTube Dawa. channel. You all know I'm not EF Which is this a YouTube is channel. But then when I said, go and look up the testimonies of Muslims becoming Christians on YouTube, he said, that is not acceptable evidence. This is the double standard of the Islamic Dawati. No, 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 listen, let me speak to him. I've given you a reference, right? I've given you a name of a channel. YouTube channel. All I'm asking, yes. yes. All I'm asking yes. is do the same. Give yes. me the YouTube channel. Do the same. That's I what I'm asking. I guarantee on Soko Films, those that are watching it will Give put... us the channel. If you're on Soko Films, please find the testimonies of Muslims becoming Christians on YouTube and put them in the comment section in Morocco. In Morocco. so that in Morocco and other places, so that EF Dawah 
can come Bob and actually do Bob some research. Bob 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 I don't know who it is. And also, Bob, how can you make the, I don't think that's a valid comparison. Can you, can I, can I make, you don't have to be wrong, I don't think that's a valid comparison. It's not a valid comparison. It's not at all, because look, if you look at YouTube, if you look at YouTube, if you're looking to, for video testimony on YouTube for a whole country, yeah, anyone's anyone, you don't know who's who. You're, you're, these lot are using a more smaller target group in the park where people are more intimate. They know each other. They can know. Okay, this guy was here last week, and we know he wasn't. We know yeah, he wasn't yeah, Muslim. Yeah. So you can make that. You can make. You can make that judgment. If you're looking at a whole country and saying, "Look, this guy could be anyone." Okay. So the, the comparison. You're, I agree. We're talking about different samples. However, the, 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 the nature of the evidence is the same. We are talking about YouTube channels. Yeah, now you're course. saying that these people are becoming but, Muslims. But nature of the evidence is different to better. But we. We know, we know full well that the AF Dawah channels, the Islamic Dawah channels, present as Christians who have converted to Islam many people who don't know the first thing about Christianity. But is it, do they, were they still Christians? But no, they weren't Christians. If they don't know their faith and they don't practice their faith, they're not Christians. So you're are saying, they? so you're saying, I'm if you, right now, so I'm you're saying, wait, wait, hold on. So basically, what, what you're saying is, yeah, if you don't have to practice your faith properly, you're not a member of that faith. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying if you don't practice it at all, and there are many people being presented on the Islamic but, but, Dawah channel. How do you know? Wait, wait, wait. How do you know whether they practice it or not? Because you hear them talk and they don't know what they believe. How about if you believe in it? And then you yeah. believe Jesus oh, is God, he died for you. I agree. I Are they Christian or not? Go to the Muslims, right? Are they Christian or not? I am not stood here. What is the most I am not stood well. here. No. Islam will come out. Yes, Islam, Islam is the fastest growing religion. Islam. I don't seek to deny it. Internet, right? we'll tell you that Islam but is what is the nature of that growth? It is birth rate. It is birth rate. If you look at America, and let's use America as an example, statistically, for every 24 people that convert to Islam, 24 people leave Islam. So the growth in America is not being caused by conversion. The growth in America is being caused by birth rate and immigration. Really? Now, wow. let's look at Saudi Arabia. Yeah. A country, a country, nice meeting to you as well. A country where for hundreds of years, for thousands of years, there was no Christian community. You are a liar. Now, because of immigration, because of immigration, there are now Two million Christian immigrants in Saudi Arabia. There are so many Christians now in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi government has now made a deal with the Vatican to build the country's first churches since the seventh century. And we know, we know from the testimonies that we are hearing that there is estimated, it is an estimate of 10,000 former Muslim Saudi citizens who now practice the Christian faith so inside Saudi Arabia. So what? He says, so what? So what? I'll tell you, so you what? To do that. Yes, so it should be like that. Wait, hold on, but hold on. What? But these What's Christians to say that them, them Muslims live in, in as a Christian fear that you said of their lives. They don't, know their, they don't know their own religion. They live in fear of their lives because in Saudi Arabia it is illegal for you to convert to Christianity if you were born a Muslim. That's the law of Saudi Arabia. That is Sharia law. That is the Sharia law. The same Sharia law that these Muslims wish for you to embrace in Europe. Ask him, ask him, ask him. Where's this book of Sharia law? Where's this book of Sharia law? We are not Saudi. No, where's this book of Sharia law? If they choose to become Christian, we are not Saudi. Yeah, but the Saudi government doesn't think like that. No, 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 the Saudi government. It doesn't think like that, does it? Well, let me say. What do you mean by government? Well, as a Muslim, what do you believe should happen to someone who leaves the religion of Islam? So, you are free. So, so, it's up to them. You just put it on the bar. So, Mohammed was wrong when he said, if a person leaves the religion of Islam, he can be killed. Okay, now watch this. He wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. Let me respond to him right now. He's trying to be very What are you trying to do right now? You're doing a strong man argument, innit? Because Prophet Man, we say anyone is free to do what they want. So there's no compulsion in religion. That's what the Quran says. 
Yeah, yeah, can, can I just make a really quick point, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah. Are you, are I'll you come saying, back to your point, but I'll let you so make a point. You're first. saying, yeah, that the, the punishment for apostasy in Islam is death. That's what you're saying, yeah? That's what Muhammad said. Okay, cool. But is that, is that, so you're, is that, what, you're arguing, is that what you're trying to get at? You're saying... What that, I'm saying is but, that I am surrounded by Muslims no, 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 who no. are denying that there are Muslims okay, becoming no, Christians. No, 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 no,
after they came out of Egypt was a, 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 a another covenant from the time of the covenant that he made with Abraham. Hmm. Which means that each time that each time in history new covenants are made. And the new covenant of the Christian church is based which passage you know what he's doing? He's sharing, he's, which passage? He's sharing, I'll read it here. 21. Jeremiah, one second. 31 verse 31. You know, my, Jeremiah. You know, I know what my question was, right? Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, Jeremiah, I'm going Jeremiah, to answer. Thank, thank you. I have double standards. I'll ask you two questions. Are you listening? Do you reject it or not? I'm going to address this point. Are you for it or are you for it? You no, you're going, That's you're, my question. I'm sorry. It? So it's not about being for it or against it. It's about understanding it properly no, 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 and not no, quoting it out of context like you do. That's what you're doing. You're quoting it out of context. But you see how it started if he's trying to say apostasy in his life. Now he's finding himself out. To defend himself. Are you listening? Go on, go on. Are you now listening? Himself, are you to listening? The Give it to yeah, yeah, yeah. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not like the covenant which I made with their fathers in the day I took them out of the out. Sorry, let me find my place. I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. So it's referring to the covenant with Moses. Okay. My covenant, which they broke, although I was husband to them, declares the Lord. But this is the covenant which I will make with them, with the house of Israel, after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my law within them, and on their heart I will write it, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. They will not teach again each man his neighbor and each man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they will all know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, their sin I will remember no more. Let me finish. now. Christ is the inauguration of this new covenant. Okay. In in Luke, yep. Yeah. You, you beat me to me. You beat me to me. Let me finish. Let, let him finish. Let, let me finish my point. One second. Yeah. Let him finish his so, point. And he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna trap himself. That's so, at the uh, at the. 22. Verse 20. What point are we discussing? Verse 20. It's the Last Supper. Last yeah. Supper. Okay. So, the Last Supper. What? What? Which gospel? Luke. Luke. So you, chapter. Why don't you chapter. Why don't you chapter. Why don't you why before that. No, no, brother, don't worry. Don't worry. We don't, we don't do what they do. There we go. Yeah? They so, what they, they jump around. Jump verse around, jump 20. Around. No, no, we stick verse to the point. 20. Yeah, you do need to stick to a point. No, so we please do. To the point. Listen. Listen. Listen to the words of Jesus. And in the same way, he took the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Okay. He's referring okay. to the prophecy of Jeremiah. Okay. And in Matthew 28, in Matthew 28, one second, yeah. one second, let him finish. In Matthew 28, he can take as long as he wants. In Matthew 28, it's as simple as this, yeah. In Matthew 28, listen, because in Jeremiah we all heard it clearly: the house of Israel, the house of Israel, the house of Israel. But Jesus, who inaugurates the new covenant in his blood, the blood of the new covenant, in Matthew 28, expands the new covenant to every nation. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. What prophet can say that? All authority, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. So the new covenant is open to all people. Okay, okay, let me respond there. Yeah. You said, this is what I quote you, you said, listen to the words of Jesus. Yes. Yeah? This is what you said. Yeah. Okay. Matthew 5, 17. Yeah. So I'm not pointing to no, I'm not going to no ambiguous verses where it could have been this and I have to jump from verse to verse. We're sticking in the New Testament, yeah? Think not that I have come to abolish the laws of the prophets. I have come to not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Keyword abolish. Yeah? yeah. Abolish. What does abolish mean? Change. Yeah? No, it doesn't. Okay. No, it okay. doesn't. Yes, it does. It means, it means to stop. throw away. Yeah, yeah. It, it means, yeah. it means to throw away. Get rid of. Get rid of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, introduce something new. That's what abolishes means. What, what? Okay, now watch this, yeah? Rid of. yeah. It's rid of. either that, yeah. either you don't understand your own Bible, yeah. which I highly doubt, Bob, because you are a learned man, yeah? Or God changed his mind. Or God changed his mind. God changed his mind. Can I reply? 
the Old Testament yes, of the New Allow Testament. Me to reply. Say, I point it to a very Allow calm bus. Not to know new Allow covenant, me to reply. no this and that. Is Allow me to reply. Allow me to reply. One second. This is okay, finish your point. Finish your point. All right, this is Jesus speaking. Is this Jesus speaking? This is Jesus speaking. This is Jesus speaking. Yes, this is Jesus. Okay, so is God contradicting? So, allow me to reply. Okay, okay. So, allow me to reply. No, God did not change his mind. I noticed clearly, I noticed clearly that the Muslim cut off the verse at the point that served him and ignored the bit of the verse that doesn't serve him. Jesus said, Jesus said, I have not come to abolish the law, not a jot, not a tittle, until all is fulfilled. What is fulfilled? What is he referring to? He's referring to the Old Testament prophets that spoke of his coming. Because with his coming comes a new covenant. With his coming, a new covenant is inaugurated. As he inaugurated a new covenant very clearly in Luke 21. So it's not about the God of the New Testament being different to the God of the Old Testament. It is that the God of the Old Testament is fulfilling his prophecies in the coming of Christ. That's what you're reading. All of it, not the bits you want to use. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. So, exactly. so you're saying you're, you're, you're the problem with Jesus, yeah. Yeah. essentially what you're saying yeah. is yeah. That, that, Jesus you know, like, the Jesus is fulfilled. And where it's been fulfilled, it's been fulfilled. Yeah. fulfilled. Okay, pop, pop, pop. These are fulfilled. Pop. Are you are you for it though? Brother. Do, do I believe it? What do you mean by am I for are it? Are you a Gentile? Are you, are you for this? You know that it says people... I am, I'll, I'll answer the just, question. I'll answer the question as clear as I can. Don't give me the opportunity to speak. Don't give me the opportunity to speak. So, what I'm trying to say is so, that, are you, so, are you, uh, do you believe in this, in this verse? Let me, let me be clear. I'm going to address this point. No, no, it's not, no, 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 I am yes. going to address the point. Yeah. Yeah. So, you uh, believe in this? Can I address the point? But, uh, so, wait, brother. No, wait, can no, I address the point? Because he made a point. He made a very Can I address the point? No, he's made a point. You were too busy, you were too busy talking to everyone else. So, no, allow, no, you've spoke now. I'm going to listen. No, no, no. He spoke. It's as simple as this. Right. Bottom line, I am for the new covenant. Mm -hmm. as the new covenant is understood okay. and the new covenant is understood as the fulfillment of the old okay, so where the old thing? is fulfilled yeah, yeah. it no longer applies okay. so, but so the first that you no, wait, wait, read, brother, brother. Yes. the first he read of the new covenant shall we read it again the one it's not it's not about that just ask him this so is he is he saying that all of the all the prophecies in the old testament has already come to pass is this what he's saying ask him if that's what he's saying he never said that i never said that i never said that Never what did that. he say? I'll answer you the question that. directly. You, Until you don't need to go to a third all man. All I'm right here. But when I want to talk to you, I'll, I'll answer the question. That's what I'm talking about. You've asked the question, but allow me to answer. Okay. This is the problem with the Islamic Dawah team. But I'll ask you the question. They don't understand the question. They don't understand the difference between a question and a statement. Honestly, how many times did I ask him the question? So, how many times did I ask him the question? Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Okay, so your question. Repeat your question, please. So, are you? You saying? Look, let's just follow this logically. Yeah? The question. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the question. Yeah, very logically. I said to you, it says that not not a single law is gonna be changed. Yeah? He hasn't come to abolish the law of his forefathers. He's come to fulfill them. You said I've conveniently cut the bus halfway through and said until all is fulfilled. Yes. So what is meant by all is fulfilled? Right. Are, are you saying that that means that every uh, prophecy in the Old Testament has been fulfilled? Fulfilled. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All. So, Oh, Allow me all, to address the question. All is all. Allow me to address okay. the question. The prophecies of the Old Testament with regards to the Messiah, some have been fulfilled. Am I allowed to answer the question? Some of them have been fulfilled in Christ's first coming, and some of them will be fulfilled in his second coming. Key point. Yes. So he hasn't come a second time yet. No, so no, that yeah, means no, that no. war is not abolished yet. No, hold that on means the second. law still stands because you said that I haven't come to abolish the laws of my forefathers until all is fulfilled. And yeah, he yeah. just said, Hold on one that second. Some of them have been yeah, fulfilled yeah, yeah. in the hold first coming. Hold on one second. Some of them have been fulfilled in the second coming. What you're, you're so misunderstanding. Come yet, so that means what, what, what you're, you're misunderstanding. misunderstanding. What you're misunderstanding. We want to learn, man. We want to learn, man. You're what? The reason why I'm doing is because you want to learn. You don't come to the back. What you're misunderstanding. I hope I misunderstood it. Yes, you have misunderstood it. Elaborate. You have misunderstood it. Elaborate. What I'm trying to do. This is a debate. 
debate. I'm really, trying to. Let him elaborate. Debates, we don't really yeah, have yeah, but it's pointless. If you're debating for nothing, it's yeah. pointless. You cannot learn so, anything no, from so, you no, no. make a point. Can I answer the question? Point between you two points. Can I answer the question? Come on. So, in terms of the, in terms of the covenant, in terms of the covenant, okay. what needs to be fulfilled are those things that are prerequisites to Christ's coming. So we look at the prophecies, for example, in Isaiah. I'll give you an example. Thank you very much. This is an example of the kind of thing that Christ fulfilled and thus inaugurates the new covenant. Now, as you listen to this, I want you to remember what happened to Christ, as you know from history, as you know from the account of the Gospels, and listen to the prophecy that was written 600 years before his birth. It's a long passage, I apologize. Who has believed our message? To whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him a tender shoot, and like a root out of parched ground, he has no stately form or majesty that we should look upon him, nor appearance that we should be attracted to him. He was born in a humble status of humble stock. He was despised and forsaken of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and like one from whom men hide their face. Christ was rejected by his own people, and like one from whom men hide their face. He was despised, and we, i.e. the Jewish people, did not esteem him. Surely our griefs he himself bore. Christ bore the iniquities of the world, and our sorrows he carried, as we Christians believe. Yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, just as the Muslims will quite rightly point out that any man hung on a tree is accursed. We believe Christ was accursed wow. for our sin. Wow. Wow. And this is what God, was prophesied. Was it cursed? It was cursed. It was cursed. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely for our griefs he himself bore and our sorrows he carried. Yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he, but he was pierced. That can fit many people. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Is this not what we believe about Christ? All of these things. So in answer to your question about the fulfillment, about the fulfillment, Christ fits the prophecies of the Messiah. When the Messiah comes, the covenant of Moses is completed. Okay. The point of the covenant of Moses, if you read Deuteronomy 18, okay. 18. But that's in the future, right? The future. No, it's happened in the past. No, no, the no, second Jesus fulfilled it. No. So the second covenant was Jesus. Happened. What was the covenant that he fulfilled? I'm asking you, Bob. No, yeah. Let's Moses go back. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Why is that thing that he fulfilled? No, no, When he comes back, this point, let him speak. Let him speak. It's not heckling. Let him speak. I just want to make a very simple point, yeah? Yeah, go on. He said that the, the law will be fulfilled, yeah? Once all the prophecies have come to pass, yeah? That's what no, you're saying. Did, did Jesus, I just, did Jesus, Jesus let me just make a quick point, yeah? So what you're saying is, I asked you, have they all come to pass in the Old Testament? He said, no, because the second coming hasn't come yet. This is still in the future. Therefore, that law cannot apply. That means he still hasn't come to no, abolish the law. Why did it come to change the law? Furthermore, yeah. furthermore, okay. furthermore yeah. go to Acts 3.12. Are you listening? Go to Acts 3.12. Yeah, yeah, let, let, let me address this point. Let me address this. You said he was going to address it. Let me address this point, because you didn't listen. I listened to you When I gave the answer the first time, he was too busy talking to other people to listen to what I was trying to say to him. So I will listen. I will speak to you again. Are you listening? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, listen. Listen carefully. Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not like the covenant which I made with their fathers in the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. The Mosaic covenant is fulfilled because the Mosaic covenant 
is about go God to, redeeming go his people five, five, through temple sacrifice. Let's yeah. go back to Matthew 517 because you're not, I don't, I don't know, my, my, I don't understand I don't know this, if, yeah? he's, if he's purposely not answering my question. Am I talking about all? Yeah. No, that's my what thing you're thing talking about. Yeah, the verse specifically the Old Testament, when the Old Testament Moses covenant, yeah? When the second coming Jesus. Yes or no? I know, I know, I know, but that's the whole thing. I'm on your side, I'm on your side. I just want to talk. What was your point? See the Moses law, the law of Moses, yeah? See the law of Moses, yeah? Yeah. Jesus didn't destroy the law of Moses, did he? Yeah? Did he, right. no, did he, he destroy it? Right. He destroyed it. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah, so, the end of the temple, so, the end of so, the sacrificial so, system. Alright, okay. So, okay, so, hold on a minute. So, so, hold, so, hold, hold a minute. So, 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 you agree on apostasy, the Old Testament. It's, 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 it's like the hands of cutting the apostasy, you know what I mean? No, no, no. no I, I'm saying that no, 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 no. Kill, yeah, kill. The whole no, of the no, no, you, you do know that, right? The, the whole of the Mosaic law is attached to temple sacrifice. Okay. Yeah. The high point, the pinnacle. Yeah, yeah. Let's be clear. Mm. The Baba, pinnacle. You see, let, you make points let, like that. Let, you're going to give him an opportunity no, to, no, no, to no. sliver up. You can't just be the one that talks. Let him talk as well. And now let yeah, me address his point. Yeah, but you didn't address point. my point, Bob. I did. Uh, you didn't. So, you no, didn't. No, no, no. Hold on one second. So the point that you... Let me... No, no, no. Let me speak. The point that I'm making to you. You're saying Mosaic law is 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 somehow we should still chop off hands. Everything about the Mosaic law is interwoven. And the pinnacle point, Whoa. the linchpin of all Mosaic law is the temple okay. and temple worship and okay. temple sacrifice. Okay. So, so you didn't destroy that. When, when this is completed, then it no longer applies and all the stitching comes undone. It goes back to the Abrahamic covenant. And what was the Abrahamic covenant? You tell me. The Abrahamic covenant was that I will multiply thy seed but, but, and that all the promises will be fulfilled in him and it speaks of seed singular. So one but, person. But, but he carried on. Can he, I, can he, I, did it, he didn't say, can okay, point, didn't, bro. Bro. He didn't say, okay, this law, I'm going to change it to my own. You know what I mean? He, he fulfilled it. He's like, like he, he, you know what I'm saying? Just, just stick to the text because he, yeah. unless we stick no, to, no, unless no, we don't bro, stick to, I know, I know, unless we don't stick to the text, he's just going to keep yeah, slipping away. I know, but what it is, yeah, we're trying to learn it. I know exactly what you're saying, I know exactly what you're saying, brother. But what I'm saying is, if we don't stick to the text, he's going to slip away. We have to stick to the words and the text. He didn't destroy it. He clearly didn't. He didn't destroy it. If he destroyed it, no, no, but if he destroyed it, he said, I don't, I disagree with it. Brother, let me destroy it. Can I make a point? No, no, no. Can I make a point? Yeah, I believe you. You want to do it. Yeah, I don't want to come in. Yeah, but he said I didn't, I didn't, I didn't abolish, but I came to fill it. He didn't abolish it. That means you've been following. So you're gonna destroy it. No, let him speak. No, no. You had your chance. Let him speak. I lose my chain. No, let him speak. Go on. No, no. I didn't have one. I didn't finish what I was gonna say. Sorry, could, could I ask you uh, yeah, So the point I was making is... Thank you. Well, the point I was making is, yeah, that that law still applies today. Reason being, because not all the prophecies have come to pass. And out of your own mouth, you said that the law will change once all the prophecies have been fulfilled. If we go back to that Prophecies of who? If you go back to the verse of the Old Testament, whether, whether it's regards to Jesus or not, Prophecies, okay, even if it is regards to Jesus, you just agreed that not all the prophecies will be fulfilled until he comes a second time. Yes, this is what you said. So if you come back to the verse, it says, Think not that I have come to abolish the laws of the prophets, I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not a, not a iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. So he agreed with it. He agreed with it. So he agreed with it. Yeah. So agreed with it. Yeah. Brother, we're making the same point. Yeah. So yeah, the problem is, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to stick to the text. Yeah. Because when you don't stick to the text, yeah, yeah, yeah. Given the option to, 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 to worm out of his way. Actually, yeah. so, so, what I'm saying is, yeah, yes. until his second coming comes, mm -hmm. not no, all prophecies yes. have been fulfilled. Yes. Therefore, yes. that law still applies. Yeah, Therefore, yeah. he should still follow because the apostles. He's still agreeing with it. He's not going to agree with it. Because he's not going to agree with it because obviously he preaches against this. Can I address that point? Can I address that point? Can I address that point? He preaches against this or not? Can I address that point? He preaches against it. You hear him? We can be. Do you want to talk to him or do you want to talk to him? Okay. So, in answer to this point, in terms of all yeah in this country we just had I'm gonna use an analogy in terms of this country we've just had a referendum and the binding is based upon a simplistic majority is it not yeah so what do you mean by referendum the nation is said to have made a decision based upon a referendum in which there was a split vote some in agreement some in disagreement but you realize referendums aren't binding no 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 I'm not I'm not I'm just simply trying to use an illustration. I don't think it's valid. That in terms, when Christ is speaking of all, he is speaking of all prophecies of himself 
at the first coming. So just see you. Okay. Yeah, but how do we know this, Bob? Yeah, you just yeah, moved. Yeah, you just you considerally it. moved away from the initial screen that you made. You said until all of his prophecy is coming, and that includes his own coming prophecy. This is how the church has always understood it, my friend. It's convenient for you, though. Yeah, that's very convenient because just a second ago you were saying something else. I can't take that from a Muslim who invents their religion from generation to generation. Says someone who relies purely on his church fathers, and he talks about inventing religion from generation to generation when he agrees that his own text has not been preserved. Let's just so I'm going to quote the apostles. I'm going to quote the apostles, brethren. I speak in terms of human relations, even though it is only a man's covenant. Yet when it has been ratified, no one sets it aside or adds conditions to it. Now the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. He does not say and to seeds as referring to many, but rather to one and to your seed, the Apostle Paul. We're not asking him something. And to your seed, that is Christ. What I am saying is this: the law which came 430 years later does not invalidate a covenant previously ratified by God so as to nullify the promise for if the inheritance is based on law it is no longer based on a promise but God has granted it to Abraham by means of a promise so what is being fulfilled is the promises to Abraham Okay, so not, that is so, what annuls the covenant with Moses. So it's not it's nothing to do with the prophecies. Don't tell me a thing. It's nothing to do with the Christ said that the law of Moses would not be done away with until all was fulfilled. Until yeah, okay, no problem. brother. Even if that's the case, the, the, the key promise word here is all is fulfilled. And the promise was to Abraham. But is, is that? Show me one clear no, verse. No, where no, that, that's what. That, I've just showed it no, you. you. Okay. Never. You never. You pointed. Why the law then? That's ambiguous. How do, I, how do I know? Why the law How do I know? Why the law then? Okay. It was added because of transgressions, having been ordained to angels by the agency of a mediator, until the seed would come to whom the promise had been made. Now a mediator is not for one party solely, whereas God is only one. Okay. Is the law then contrary to the promise of God? May it never be. For if a law had been given which was able to impart life, then righteousness would indeed have been based on law. Okay. But the scripture has shut up everyone under sin, so that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Okay, okay, okay look, Bob, well, because we could go around in circles all day. I just want to ask one simple question. Yes, okay. It's as simple as this, yeah? You're not going to, but come on. I, I will, I will, yeah, I promise you. Yeah? <laughs> show, me, show me one clear verse, which, which, which I can clearly see that Paul or somebody in the Bible is referring to that Old Testament verse. Where Je where, sorry, that, where Jesus, it says on the summer of the mic that I have come to abolish the laws of my forefather and uh, I will not, I have only come to, uh, I haven't come to abolish them, I've come to fulfill them. Nothing will be changed until all comes to pass. Yeah? Okay. And then and then show me where, because you just read that verse and so I, feel like, I feel like everyone here feels like it's quite ambiguous. Yeah? So what I'm going to say is, show me one clear verse where it shows, okay, cool, that is the case. The argument you just made is the case and it is in direct reference to the point I made. And if not, you could, it's just a matter of interpretation. Yeah, yeah. Th that's the point I'm making. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. From the beginning. I'm sorry. And to be honest, Paul, I'm sorry. To be honest, Bob, yeah, I, I feel like you've substantially moved can away I, from the initial point I, that you made. Can first, I you said that it had to be uh, after me, the second I'll coming. Be real, and now, when you said, okay, so that means that law still applies today. In and the you said, conversation no, yeah. that we so, have had, can may I reply now? In the conversation that we have had, we have started off on a point, on a premise, a false premise pushed by the Islamic Dawa team bro, every bro. single I'm not a Dawa week. Team, can I speak without interruption? I'm not, I'm not a part of no, Can I speak without interruption? Do you notice? <laughs> notice I listen to you. No, but you're lying. Now yes, pay me the courtesy. Sorry, Bob. Quiet. Sorry, sorry, pay. Sorry, you sorry, weren't sorry, you weren't sorry, interrupting sorry, when he was talking. Apologies. Don't apologies, interrupt. Thank you. So, when we started this conversation, you started on a false premise. The false premise was that we Christians are bound to the Old Covenant. When we Christians believe that the Old Covenant and all the Mosaic prophets point to the coming of the Messiah, ask any Jew, they will agree with me. 
when the Messiah comes, a new covenant is inaugurated. That is what happens. And the reason why the Messiah inaugurates a new covenant and does away with the Mosaic covenant is because the Messiah is the fulfillment of the covenant made with Abraham, which proceeds, takes precedence over, is above the Mosaic law. I understand. So, when Christ said, not a jot or tittle of the Mosaic law will be done away with until all is fulfilled, he is talking about the coming of the Messiah and everything that that means. He has come. Tell me, as a Muslim, let's just settle this argument right now. As a Muslim, do you believe Christ is a Messiah? Yes, I do. Yes, Thank yeah. you very much. Can I, can I, can so I, much. Can I Thank you. Can I expand? Thank you. Bob, I gave you what you wanted. Let me yeah. At least give me the decency to respond. I thought you were going to walk no, away. I, yeah, I told I you. I, I, I will walk away. It's a prophecy. No, no, no. It's not a prophecy. <laughs> Go on. It's I'm it's what you, yeah, but what you done was very, very. I, I would like to. What you done was very slight because obviously you made a, you made a, you made a, a strawman argument again out of me. What you said was in, in, in reference to me. You said that I started out with a false premise. I would argue it's not a false premise because, yeah. like you just agreed, that the Lord. This new covenant, this new covenant, will not come into effect until all of the prophecies have been fulfilled. Yes, and you just agreed that that there's still prophecies to right. come. So, so the I second mean, coming is a what prophecy. Did I so, what did I do? So the point I'm making is what did I do? Okay, 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 okay. No, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Well, well, talk to me then, not to him. What did I do? I've got like 15 minutes. What did I do? Go on, make your point. The prophecies that there are still prophecies that are to come, such as Jesus' second coming. That's number one. Number two, there's no direct mention of the Mosaic law. He just says the laws of my forefathers. He just okay. says the laws of my forefathers. That, that could and who was he referring to? That, that could be all the, all his who brought the law? His predecessors. Who brought the law? So Moses is the only person who came with the law. Exactly. Yeah, Moses. So, okay. so my point is, okay. so my point, can you, can you just no, allow me? That? Can you just acknowledge what uh, I just said? Can you yeah. acknowledge that the reason why I made that argument I, I, is because Jesus has not come I reply? Come come can I reply? And I'm looking at the text where it says all prophecies have to be fulfilled. Can I reply? Can I reply? Thank you. Plural. Thank you. The problem with the Islamic Dawah team Don't say is that, that Ooh, allow me. I, no one told you. Notice they interrupt again. Always, always when I try to reply, they interrupt. But when I, when, when one of their Muslim brothers is speaking, they're all quiet and listening. So let's be clear. Let's be clear. If I did not communicate at the very beginning. What no, I no, meant. Like it, In the it? course of the last hour, no, like you have had sufficient is, time is, to is absorb is any corrections neutral. necessary. And I feel like you didn't. In a conversation that goes backwards and forwards, where each person only speaks for a few minutes, yeah. it is hard to package the whole narrative in one go. It takes time to spread it all out, to press it all out. You've had over an hour now, and I've made it really clear. Christ was speaking about himself as the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies okay. of the Messiah. Okay. He understood himself that way very clearly throughout the New Testament. Okay. That is very clear about how the apostles also understood Jesus. Your argument can only stand if you reject Christ as the Messiah, as no, the Jews no, do. No, no. Man again. No, but you man. believe that Jesus is the Messiah. If he is the Messiah, then he fulfills fills all the things that the Messiah does. And in the Old Testament, when the Messiah comes, the Mosaic law is completed. Okay. Come back. Why? Because the Mosaic law is built upon the promises given to Abraham, and Christ is the fulfillment of those prophecies. Okay, can I, can I just make one quick point? Yeah, it's very, of very course important. You, can. Very, very important. you always refer to me and other people. Yeah, people is that that that's 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 yep. I would like to point out I am merely a layman. Yeah, I have no formal education in theology like you do. Yeah? I never. That's a, why no, you, I, yeah, I, I don't. don't. Okay, you do. I don't. Okay, then. No problem. I'm not Islamic. So you, you don't have a formal education. Because you can always say. What degree did you do? You can say. Religious studies. What is theology? Theology is a different subject entirely. No, no, mistake. Is it so? Theology is not the study of religion. Theology is not the subject of study of religion. That just goes to show him a layman. That just goes to show him a layman. Okay. Yeah, no, he knows this, but he he has to do it for the for his study of religion. Well, I would say that the camera evidence will show you here for the last four weeks and for the last four weeks, at least three of those weeks, all you did. Heckle me. Okay, can I, 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 but 
Yeah, without losing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're talking now. We're talking now. I respect you. I respect you for talking to me because usually I feel like you don't like speaking to me. I don't know why. Maybe because you heckled me in the past. Now we're talking. I only start heckling you when you didn't want to speak to me. Carry on. See, look. Carry on. Carry on. Okay, cool. But you like carry on. Okay, let me finish my point. Okay. It's a neutral channel. Allow me to finish my point. Yeah. Okay. It's not a neutral channel. It's not a neutral channel, man. Again. I thought you was like COE. Like neutral. No, no, no. Neutral. If it's a neutral channel, I have a lack of understanding or. No, no. It's good to be neutral. What you're saying, yeah. but yeah. I still feel like you have felt. Reach that to the Dawa team. I still feel like <laughs> I still feel like you have felt to show that all of <laughs> like prophecy, all of the Old Testament prophecies regarding Jesus have come to pass. Because this is what it clear. This is what the verse clearly says. No, it says all has been fulfilled. Until all has been fulfilled. What does that mean? What is he referring to? He's referring to the coming just, of the Messiah. You, so, he is the Messiah. The video, therefore, it's fulfilled. When you go back to the video, when you go back to watch the video, you see. No, you'll I agree edited, with all the prophecies you. No, be edited, it? regarding Jesus. Yeah. Won't be have been fulfilled. Would, yeah. That's what you said, and you can't go no, back on your word. No, I didn't. Did. Because if you actually listen carefully, I said that there were prophecies. No. Be honest. Did he say that? What I said was, I said, I said that they were fulfilled. They were, they were in two. Those that were fulfilled at the first coming, and those that were fulfilled. What you said was very, very that will be fulfilled. Yeah. At the I may not be coming. smart, but I understand. Let the audience decide. I may not Let's not quibble. Let the audience okay, decide. No problem. So, my point to you, my point to you, and to all of the Muslims who might be hearing my voice, and to anyone else. the conversation. Again. And anyone else who wants to take this subject seriously, if you want to study the Bible, don't study it through the prism of an Islamic pamphlet or through a sermon by Zakia oh. Naik or Shabia Ali. I went to a Church of England school. What if you want to study the Christian faith, study the Bible as it was understood by the Christian church. Why? Because the New Testament was written by Christians, for Christians, to Christians, which means that the church is the one that has the authority to interpret its own texts. The New Testament that you are quoting is a Christian text. We are the ones who are best to interpret it for you. Can I just ask you one quick question then? Yeah. So you just said, so you're saying that the New Testament is written by Christians, what time early Christians, for yeah. Christians, yeah. to Christians. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. So basically, in essence, what you're saying is that it's just basically an, Ara an Aramaic version of the Hadith that doesn't really stand to the same sort of level of scrutiny as the Hadith. No, I'm not. So how do you? How can you stand there? And I'm not saying that. I have a different criteria. I don't believe in the Chinese whispers known as Hadith chains. But I don't believe just that just because you can remember a series of names. And that series of names seems to be agreed upon that that suddenly means everything else you say is reliable. So, but you I don't believe in that rubbish. So there is a better criterion so, of evidence. And here's what I would Jesus. invite you to do. I would, in, I would invite you to do this. I would invite you to do this. The Gospels make a very clear claim. They make a claim that Christ was crucified and rose from the dead. Now go and check out what the historians of the first and century, Josephus, on who, who you read, Tacitus, you a of Sorius, so Sotorius, go and read what they said and then compare it to what the Quran says and see which one's talking about real history and which one's making stuff up. I never, I never, I never, I have to go. I never referred to the Quran, I referred to the Hadith. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Don't make me be rude. I have to go. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm trying to have Next week. I have to go. I have to go. I'm sorry. I have to go. I have to go. Maybe one day we can do this off camera. Off camera will be better. Yeah, I'm walking. I'm walking. One day we can do this off camera. And maybe we will talk some more.